We have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get those paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Why, are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel! <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. 
This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady, she has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Slay Cooper! Ah well, c'est la vie! of you of whom I am thinking to be together forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this, my marvelous contraption, the time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Cooper, you filthy vermin! Whoo! Wait! Cut that closer than a $10 shave! Reckon my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! No! Take Carmelita and get off this thing! We all need to leave right now! That maniac just tore a hole in time space! need to finish this fight here and now, for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blip could disappear any second. Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go. Sly, I... I know. Me too. Come, Cooper. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last, after I cut the rest of you to pieces! It's too bad you didn't work for me. I could have used them. It wouldn't have worked out. I'm allergic to morons. You can't work in pitiful! Not as pitiful as that mustache. What? What the? Hey, lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky if I only break your neck. Come on. I'm waiting for you. You can't win, Cooper. Deep down, you know I'm sweet. Wait, did you say posterior? Well, I'll teach you a lesson. Uh-oh, looks 
like somebody just lost his temper. Ah, there's something wrong with this stupid sword. this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile. I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. The very sight of you fills me with rage! I thought we were gonna be pals. Blast it, imbecile! I'll run you through! Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. <laughs> Ready to meet your doom? It's time to end this. I agree. But I'm not the one who's going down. This is not right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please! Help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said, so predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Phoebus Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work. 
busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him.